Yes, the Bitcoin spot ETF is coming very, very soon, in my opinion. I think this is as close to as guarantee as possible. I'm going to go over why I think that actually right now, and I got a lot of other very bullish news. Right now we have BlackRock has updated its spot Bitcoin ETF S1 prospectus uh, after uh, more feedback from the C SEC. So there's more and more feedback that they are getting to perfect their spot Bitcoin ETF. Uh, this is going to pass. We have just hit $43,000. And it's almost went to $44,000 because smart money is buying right now. I don't even, I think a lot of people are still on the sideline, which is so crazy uh, that I, I they should have been following us. They should have been subscribed to this channel because they would have saved their, themselves a lot of stress and FOMO as they're probably experiencing right now. Speaking about people that are FOMOing in, well, we have people chasing with 200 to 300 Bitcoin bids. A lot of them actually got filled, so it's real, not just a spoof. So spoofing is like putting in your order, then taking it out, essentially, just kind of tricking people. Whereas people are actually buying up crazy amounts of Bitcoin right now. This We, we are a beyond the accumulation phase. Don't know if you know this right now. This is not the accumulation phase. This is a bull market. This is what we've been preparing for, we also have a massive person potentially getting into this space. This is from Luke Broyles on Twitter. He says, rumors going around, this is Max Kaiser's rumor, uh, so take this with a grain of salt, but uh, going around that Qatar's sovereign wealth fund wants to have a $500 billion al allocation to Bitcoin. Did you get that? $500 billion. Uh, in context, that is 671 times more than Sailor's disclosed Bitcoin position. The problem is that there is only $76 billion worth of Bitcoin remaining on exchanges. So do you understand what that means? That means the price is going to go freaking ballistic and you haven't seen anything yet. Uh, and so hopefully that is true. I have no idea if that is true, but uh, yeah, Mike, Max Kaiser, who knows if he has th this correct, that would be amazing. Next up, we have CNBC putting Bitcoin in a very good spotlight. And I actually agree with this guy that said that this is more scarce than gold. And I absolutely agree. This is way more scarce than gold. A lot of people are getting very happy about the gold price rising, but I don't care about the price of gold because I know it is completely and utterly manipulated because we have no idea how much gold is out there, but we do know how much Bitcoin is out there. 21 million will ever exist. But regardless of that, the, the mainstream news is putting Bitcoin into a very good light right now. Guess who owns CNBC partly? BlackRock, yes, of course, guys. This is what is happening right now. We are about to experience, we are experiencing the loneliest bull market to have ever existed in Bitcoin's history. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and I would suggest you checking out the CT Club at learningcrypto.com so it's not lonely for you. You can join us and thousands of others that have been absolutely killing it during this this bull market. Actually, we've been killing it during the bear market too with our micro caps. Talk to you guys soon. Please like and subscribe. I will get a video out tomorrow. Just as excited. All right, bye-bye.